Hey guys, Base Insider 60 here, and today I decided to make another rant topic or yeah, discussion topic that I wanna I kinda wanna talk about because this is ha this has been one of those um kind of things that I've been holding off for a while because it's it's not controversial I, I would say, but it's just uh, one of those issues that I had to deal with personally, but from somebody else, a third person perspective. And that is today helicopter parents. Where do I begin with these? Um, to emphasize with the other side, I would just say that helicopter parents, um, their their methods are actually pretty orthodox. They're pretty good. Uh, I mean, but you know where the limits at though is is kind of the concern. Now I believe that if the, you know the child is under seventeen, that helicopter parent. Is a good idea because you know it's technically I mean the parent still has control over the child in that aspect and that they you know they're they're just doing it for the better for this for the child make sure that they don't like they don't they, they, they don't go into a wrong path or anything like that you know and you know just making sure that they're better that those their children become better people and you know that they work hard and then they be so become successful but however it's actually a very big issue with between us and um, I mean us I mean people over over 18 and I'm a 19 year old and um, I don't I didn't didn't have to do with this too much but it happens but a lot of, you notice a lot of college students now freshmen sophomores maybe they they go to college and they still have helicopter parents hovering around them but with even more control it's understandable because the parents are paying for a majority of the bill that's kind of understandable I can you know relate with that but the problem is though is that you once you're 18 you're regarded as an adult and above 18 maturity level that depends that's that varies but with but in the eyes of, of the, the government, you're 18, you're an adult, you have adult decisions that you can make now. Well, except for drinking alcohol or whatever. But I mean, you, but you know what I'm saying. Um, helicopter parents, what they do is they technically do a lot of things for their kids. And, you know, from doing their own laundry to checking them up on them every every day, every um, waking hour. And... In in the uh, and then, and this is for mostly like college kids now because this is this is a really touchy thing, which is gonna get to the meat and bones of what I want to say. This, but uh, yeah, I mean it just because you're you're basically making your you're basically making your adult child, as I would say, um, very lazy and very like just inefficient, so not self sufficient. Because when we're eighteen and we go off to college, we're you know. We need to act like adults, and we need to, you know, learn how to do these things on our own. Not let mommy and daddy do it for us all the time. And that's what I see happen a lot. Then you get children that are lazy, and it's like, oh, I just got my mom to deal with it. My dad can deal with it. And it's a very problem with the, high, with the uh, college because, I mean, there's been instances where professors were called at, like, maybe 11 o'clock at night because and they have a screaming parent on the phone. Saying, oh my, why did my child get a C in this paper? He, you know, he, it, it's a good paper. He should at least get an A or something like that. Or they even go as far as coming down to the uh, dorm area to settle like a dorm dispute between, you know, two roommates. Like, that's something that you can deal with by yourself. Um, to be honest, like, if you can't, if you have a problem, if you have any problems with your roommates in your dorms, just, you know, try to get somebody, try to, Try to settle the dispute on your own, but if you can't, then I mean, I would talk to the counselor, the dean, the dean, or somebody who's in charge of the dorms, see if they can like arrange things. And it's just about communication, really. But I mean, you're getting people that don't know the basics of being an adult. You know, once you go off to college, that's what you basically have to start doing. You have to start thinking as an adult and you just start, you know, doing just the little things. And if you got mommy and daddy doing it for you, then you don't know how to do it. And then you're going to probably be end up coming back, living with them, you know, just not knowing how to like wash dishes or, you know, do your own laundry. And I mean, do it. And those things are really easy to do. Don't get me wrong. Uh, my, my parents taught me how to do that, but at, at a kind of a young age, you know. 
but it, it's just one of those things because you're an adult now and you're letting your parents control you over time you know they're not letting you make the decisions and sometimes I know it's forcefully on them because the parents are just over controlling and they, they don't let you do certain things and where the meat and bones of this comes in is because uh, I dated a girl maybe a couple months ago that I had to had break her off just because of that reason. Her mother, and I'm not going to say who she is, I'll just say that she's a 24 year old, maybe 25 year old. And, you know, I'm a 19 year old. So it was kind of a big age difference about it. I mean, it kind of clicked for a second. Anyway, but uh, yeah, you know, her mother had like total control over her. Like, oh, if you don't, you know, clean the you clean your the house or anything blah 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 like you're gonna be grounded and you know and and it's i mean you know when you're still living in your parents house i mean you still got to follow the rules and all that kind of junk but i mean you're 24 years old you I mean you got to you got a full-time job supposedly and i know she does and i mean she could move out to an apartment you know stuff like that but um no, I mean, this is what, and, and, and her mom still treats her like she's like a 15 year old, like, come on, you know, she's 24, she can do stuff on her own, she doesn't need you to be like controlling over her all the time, you know, and it, and, it, and where it comes to me, though, is because it interfered with her, you know, dates, and like, sometimes, I, you know, we, we had the all day to ourselves, but we had to cut it early because, oh, no, because I have to do something, my mom told me to do this, and I mean, she used to work at, she used to work at my job, too, and one of my coworkers told me that, oh, you know, she'd always have to call her mom because, like, oh, they ask her to stay late, and she has to, you know. Then, um, you know, and then, and, and it really what broke the, what the straw that broke the camel's back. I gotta make this video short because I have to go to class in about an hour. But, uh, anyway, but the, the thing that the broke, the, the straw that broke the camel's back was after jury duty um, and that's probably gonna be an entire video uh, another video about me having to do jury duty it wasn't as bad as I thought anyway but no I came back and I told I, I ran across her at Walmart and I said hey you know we should actually have like a you want to you know want to go on a date today you know I really don't like using the term hanging out because then you just associate her as a friend but she's my girlfriend or was but I, I said you want to go on a date today, you know, maybe around five o'clock. We probably go to the mall, just you know, casual. And you know, she said, yeah. And I go there at five o'clock, and I'm waiting there for an hour and a half, and she doesn't show up. I'm like, dude, you know, and I think it was something that her mom told her to do or something, and I just, I just I had it. That was it. I waited there for an hour and a half, like. See, I looking like an idiot. I was walking around the mall seeing if you were there. And, I mean, it's my, my fault on my own part, too, because I didn't have a functioning phone. And, but, um, you know, and I was using my tablet to text her. But, I mean, fuck, dude. Like, I, I told her, now it's this. Like, uh, you know, if you... If your mom... If your mom's going to be, you know, intruding our relationship and you can't... You don't have the balls to say, hey... Man, look, I, I, I can do my stuff by my own. I mean, just let me, like, just kind of leave me alone for right now, okay? Like, kind of back off a little bit, all right? Because I'm an adult. I can do things on my own, you know? And it wasn't really happening like that, you know? You have to be, once you're that age, you have to be very assertive with your parents. You got to put your foot down, you know? Don't be 13, because, you know, you enter that rebellious phase and stuff like that when you're a teenager. But, I mean... You're, it's just because you start judging your parents in that certain way. For me, I have to put my foot down at times tell my parents, hey, look, I can do this by myself. I appreciate the help and everything or advice you're giving me. But it, I feel like you don't understand. I feel like they don't fully understand that I can. I am capable of doing things. They feel like sometimes I'm not even capable of doing it, but I certainly am, you know, and I will learn along the way. I, you know, and, and she just didn't do that. And... I just said, fuck it. If you're not going to stand up to your mom, I'm not going to get into this anymore. I, you're done. I'm done. Because what, what's going to be next that you get grounded because we went on a date and you were supposed to do something else? You know? I, and it's like, nah, I got tired of that. So the whole moral of that was, yeah, you know, it's just, shit was really bad. Um, 
helicopter parents. There's a there should be a, a boundary when it's good and when it's not. I mean, when you're when you're young, 13, your parents they they push you, they grind you, you know. And it's understandable because they just want the best for you, you know, stuff like that. And they want you to be successful after 18 or, you know, once you graduate high school and all that. And they want to make sure that you're, um, you know, there's a lot of controversy. Like, they, they push too hard. And, yeah, you know, some parents do push too hard, but it's not most of them, you know. It's just small of them that push their kids into depression because of that. But, I mean, you know, if you do your work and you do your own part and you, do, and you become successful... I mean, your parents are going to acknowledge that, and they're going to back off a little bit, and you know, and I had to learn that the hard way. But I mean, you know that in that aspect, yeah, they just want the best for you, and they want to make sure that you become successful, you know, and not become a screw up. And you know, some people don't have that discipline, and they become screw ups, or they just work crappy jobs. But then, when it comes to being an adult, though, uh, you're an adult. Put your big boy pants on or your girl panties on and start doing things when you're an adult especially if you're in college and stuff like that or you know in, in state or whatever you got to learn how to do things by yourself and don't expect mommy and daddy to be on the rest on the rescue all the time you got to start having to deal with things on your own accepting responsibility shit like that because really you you're not going to have any of our things to like parents actually in the job interviews with their um they're in their job interviews with uh, their kids, you know? And this could be like 24-year-olds, 25-year-olds, 28-year-olds even. I mean, when I was 17, yeah, my, my dad and my brother were waiting outside, you know, for my first job interview. And that was when I was 17. I barely turned 17 at that time. But it's one of those things, you know? And I had a couple other job interviews since, and I don't need my parents. I just do, I go and do it. So I'm responsible. But yeah, I mean, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, this is just something I wanted to get through. And just to re-clarify all my points, when you're below 17 and you got a helicopter parent, I mean, they are just they just want the best for you, you know? And just do your work on your own part. They don't want you to be a screw-up. But once you're in college, like 18 and above in college, you know, parent, they're, they're going to still be doing stuff for you and they're going to make you into a lazy unself-efficient person and that's not what you want to be you want to prove that you're an adult you know you need to learn how to because mom and dad aren't always going to be there for your rescue so you just got to learn to do things by yourselves when you're in college and i mean some people aren't capable of doing it you know but i mean there's help there's help you can get you know you don't need mom to drive here drive two hours to your university and deal with like a deal with the dispute and I mean, it's one of it's just one of those boundary kind of things. Where it's where it's good and where it's not. So, for me, it's like once eighteen, helicopter parents should stop, and then when they're seventeen, they should continue because that's when they still have control over the kids, and that's when they are just just molding them to be like after high school, you know. And then after eighteen, they should let them be independent, you know. And even if they're living on their own, they should make them lose and in, make independent thoughts, make them decide things on their own, you know. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, yeah, it's just one of those topics, and man, I gotta get to class and shit like that. So yeah, hopefully you like your like the video. I'm gonna start posting more videos maybe next week or something. I'm probably gonna go out and buy like a generations pack of Pokemon cards, open them up. And I'll probably upload it next week, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to stick back to doing two videos because I was kind of on a hiatus with, like, vacation time from in L.A., which was nice. I liked it. And, yeah, you know, doing papers and schoolwork, you know, all this bullshit. You know how it is. I'm not a full-time YouTuber, but one day. <laughs> all right, this is Basic Side of 60 signing out.